Calculate the number of moles for 6.24 grams of lithium. Here we have to use the formula number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass or n it's equal to m divided by mm. The mass is given in the question it's going to be equal to 6.24 and the molar mass we have to take it from the periodic table. The molar mass for lithium it's equal to 6.941. So we do the math and then we find the answer with the proper number of significant figures it's going to be equal to 0 0.899 moles of lithium now if you want to calculate the number of atoms and that's 6.24 grams of lithium then we are going to use the formula number of atoms n it's equal to n number of moles multiplied by n a which is the avogadro's number which is equal number of moles we calculated in the first part is equal to 0 0.899 we multiply by Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 we get the answer and the proper number of significant figures is going to be equal to 5.41 times 10 to the power 23 atoms of lithium Calculate the molar mass for lithium sulfate. Lithium sulfate is an ionic compound. We have to write its formula first. We have to write the formula for lithium ion, which is Li+, plus, and sulfate ion, which is SO42-. We swap the charges, so the ionic formula for lithium sulfate is going to be Li2SO4. To find the molar mass for lithium sulfate, we have to find the molar mass for the atoms forming lithium sulfate. We have two atoms of lithium we have to look in the periodic table for the molar mass of lithium is going to be equal to 6.941 times 2 we have one atom of sulfur and the periodic table its mass is going to be equal to 32.066 we have four atoms of oxygen each has a mass of 15.994 we do the math and then we find the molar mass for lithium sulfate is going to be equal to 1099456 but if you want to take the proper number of decimals, it's going to be 109946 gram per mole. This is how to find the molar mass for ionic compounds. Now, if you want to find the number of moles of 14.65 grams of lithium sulfate, then we're going to use the formula N is equal to M divided by MM. The mass is taken from the question is going to be equal to 14.65 and the molar mass we just calculated in the first part usually we take it from the periodic table it's equal to 109.946 and the answer is going to be equal to 0 0.1332 moles of lithium sulfate if you want to calculate the number of formula units in 14.65 grams of lithium sulfate we have to use the formula number of formula units it's equal to n number of moles multiplied by n a avogadro's number number of moles we calculated in the previous part it's equal to 0 0.1332 we multiply by avogadro's number which is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 and the answer is going to be equal to 8.021 times 10 to the power 22 formula units so whenever we want to calculate the number of particles atoms molecules ions formula units we use avogadro's number which is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 calculate the molar mass for c7h14 to find the molar mass we have to use the periodic table and to find the molar mass for carbon and hydrogen the molar mass for hydrogen is going to be equal to 1.00794 we have 14 atoms of hydrogen so multiply by 14 and the molar mass for carbon is equal to 12.0107 we multiply it by 7 since we have 7 atoms of carbon each molecule so we add them all and we get the molar mass for C7H14 equal to 98.1861 grams per mole a container contains 3.45 times 10 to the power 25 molecules of C7H14. We have to calculate the mass of C7H14 in that 
container to find the mass first we have to find the number of moles to find the number of moles we divide the number of molecules that we have which is 3.45 by Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times to the power 23 so we get the answer in the proper number of significant figures it's equal to 57.3 moles after we find the number of moles then we can use the formula mass it's equal to number of moles multiplied by molar mass the number of moles we just get it it's 57.3 and the molar mass we calculated in the first part which is equal to 98.1861 so the answer that we get in the proper number of significant figures is going to be equal to 5630 grams of c7h14 now a reservoir contains 2.34 grams of C7H14. How many carbon atoms are there in that reservoir? First, we have to calculate that amount in grams. So 2.34 kilograms, you have to convert it to grams. We multiply by 1000, it's going to be equal to 2340 grams. Then we find the number of moles by dividing that mass by the molar mass. That mass is 2340 we divided by the molar mass which is equal to 98.1861 we get the number of moles equal to 23.8 moles after we get the number of moles we can find the number of molecules of c7h14 by multiplying it with avogadro's number so number of molecules equal to n times n a avogadro's number and the number of moles 23.8 times 6.022 times 10 to the power 23 the answer is going to be equal to 1.43 times 10 to the power 25 molecules so we have this number of molecules now in each molecule we have seven carbon atoms because each molecule has c7h14 so to find the number of atoms of carbon we have to multiply by seven so number of atoms of carbon is equal to 7 times the number of molecules which is 1.43 times 10 to the power 25 so the number of carbon atoms in all the molecules is going to be equal to 1 times 10 to the power 26 atoms of carbon <laughs>